The Sunnah indicates that the one who wants to offer a sacrifice must stop cutting his hair and nails and removing anything from his skin from the beginning of the 10 days until he has offered his sacrifice. Because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, when you see the new moon of Dhul Hijjah, if any one of you wants to offer a sacrifice, then he should stop cutting his hair and nails until he has offered his sacrifice. In another report, he should not remove anything from his hair or skin. The wisdom behind this prohibition of the one who wants to offer a sacrifice from cutting his hair and removing anything from his nail, etc., is so that he may resemble those in ihram in some aspects of the rites performed. And so that they may draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by offering the sacrifice. If a person has cut his hair or nails during the first 10 days of the Hijjah because he was not planning to offer a sacrifice, then he decides later during the 10 days of the Hijjah to offer a sacrifice. At that moment, he has made the intention he must refrain from cutting his hair and nails. Does everyone has to stay away from cutting the hair and the nails? This prohibition appears to apply only to the one who is offering the sacrifice, not the wife and the children, unless any of them is offering the sacrifice in his own or her own right. Because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, used to sacrifice on behalf of the family of Muhammad وسلم. But there are no reports that say he forbade them to cut their hair or nails at that time. Therefore, only the men of the house who is sacrificing an animal on behalf of the whole family, only that man, the husband or the father, refrain from cutting anything from his hair or nail. And this applies only to the one who is giving the sacrifice.